Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back again. And uh, <clears throat> today I was setting up my speakers. Uh, those, are, those are small three inch gophers. And those speakers, I mean, throw more travel than the bus. Well, you don't even expect more bus from a three inch gopher. But still, it's more travel. So I wanted a little more buzz, so that's why I uh, bought this uh, speaker crossover. It's a two-way crossover network. Well, I'm not going to using um, the input kit. I'm I just going to need this coil. Here you can see this is the choke coil that I removed from <clears throat> another kit so then I was thinking to show you uh, the crossover and what is it and how it uh, works for those who uh, don't know yet so this is a two-way crossover 4 ohm 60 watt and here is the circuit diagram a woofer and Twitter. So let's open it up. Alright, this is it. Here you can see the kit. It uh, contains one choke coil and two caps. And this one is a 10 microfarad, 100 volt electrolytic capacitor, and the other one is polystyrene caps. So these are the connections and this one is for input positive and this is a common for uh, negative or the ground and this is the out for Twitter and this one is for O4. So here are the input. As you can see the input connection goes through here and <coughs> This is uh, one side of the choke coil and this is the other side of the choke coil and then the output goes to the woofer. So what it basically does is uh, it uh, stops the high frequencies well it not uh, completely stop but uh, reduce the high frequencies and pass the low frequencies mostly and a choke coil means there is a a magnetic stick uh, inside of this uh, barrel so that thing makes this coil work nicely and that makes it steady so <coughs> about the tweeter see the input connection comes through here and this is uh, uh, polystyrene caps this one and here is the electrolytic caps well these two things do uh, these two things uh, stop the uh, low frequencies and pass the high frequencies so you twitter some uh, loud with uh, high frequencies so <coughs> basically uh, a crossover does is it uh, you are going to use one offer and at least one Twitter then this uh, crossover is going to divide the uh, sound to the uh, offer and the Twitter as they need and as they will reproduce the sound output that you will hear so this is the basic work of uh, a crossover this is a two-way crossover mm, they are three-way crossover two there you get these are for lows the woofer low frequencies and twitter for high frequencies and in the three-way you will get uh, another connection for uh, mid frequencies there will be another coil and two more caps like this so this is the basic of the crossover 
hope you understand I mean hope you understood this uh, if you have any question then comment below thanks for watching guys bye bye